psychic with the T, the psychic with the T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Hi everybody, I know it's been so long since I have been on Twitch, I am so sorry, um, I've been so busy with readings, and then I got a cold, alright, it's not the Rona, but um, I think I just got the, the flu maybe, or just a simple cold, or, as the seasons change, that tends to happen, um, but yes, I'm back Twitch, and better than ever. Um, and we have some things to talk about today. I'm going to talk about dreams today. Ooh, dreams. Have you been having some interesting dreams lately? I definitely have. But we're going to talk about that in a second. So, I will be posting this on YouTube later. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button on YouTube so you'll get all the notifications every time I go live or upload a brand new video. And also check out my Vimeo, V-I-M-E-O dot com slash Lamar Townsend Tarot, where you can get exclu exclusive access to content that I don't post on YouTube or any other platform except for Vimeo. While you're at it, become a member of my YouTube channel by hitting the join button on YouTube. Also, if you would be interested in a reading from me, I am available for personal readings and I do do astrology, natal chart, birth chart readings. I am a psychic, an energy channeler, a tarot reader, and... Um, an astrologer. So if you want a psychic tarot reading or if you want a birth chart reading, I also do candles and I do make bracelets. Every bracelet you see on my um, arm I have made. Actually, I'm going to show you guys the newest bracelet that I made because I'm really excited about it. It's so pretty. So this is the newest bracelet that I made. So it's this one right here and it, I don't know why, okay, hold on. Maybe if I do it like that. So this is a pearl rose quartz, and I think these this is just rhinestone. Um, this is a pearl net pearl um rose quartz and rhinestone bracelet. I think these are also just just some crystals as well, um, or glass beads. But I I love pairing this with I do sell this on my website the rose one, but I love pairing them together. This one I just made for myself, but I don't know it just screams opulence to me. So I love love love. To wear that okay let's see so I'm gonna have to re okay. yeah we're good okay yeah so that's my newest bracelet um, and I do sell bracelets on my website also I do candles so check that out okay lastly follow me on my twitch Facebook Instagram and TikTok at Lamar Townsend Tarot I literally posted some content on TikTok I, well, I've been posting a lot of meditation videos on TikTok so Hi, Rebirth of Key. How are you? Thank you for being here. Thank you guys for being here. Um, I know, like I said, I know I haven't been on Twitch in a long time, but I'm here <laughs> and ready to slay. So let's talk about dreams and um, what dreams actually, where they originate when it comes to astrology. Now, we could talk about the scientific aspect of dreams, meaning, you know, um, the REM sleep you know, aspect and how maybe sometimes dreams can deal with the subconscious, which the subconscious is connected to astrology, the eighth house to be specific, but nonetheless, we're going to get into the metaphysics of dreams, okay? So, lately I've been having some really interesting dreams and something I've noticed, and this could be my, my psychic gifts becoming stronger or something like that, I've been having dreams that actually come true. Like, I've been having a lot of premonition type dreams that have come true. Um, I'm trying to think of a few. Okay, one dream I had, this was maybe a few months ago. I had a dream 
um, that the cops, the cops just kind of knocked on my door and were kind of peeking in and see what I was doing as if like, you know, the, there was like a disturbance call. So I found that really interesting and I was like, hmm, okay, so I kind of have to watch what I do. I, mean, I thought it was about music or whatever, you know, but then again, like this was when it really started happening, when I, my dreams started getting prominent, right? So that you know how sometimes you think, okay, that was weird, that was a weird dream, but I don't know what that means. I kid you not, maybe like four weeks later, maybe a month or two later, maybe four months later, it happened. The cops knocked on my door. And it was actually a complaint of smell. I was burning a lot of sage in my apartment. As you know, I'm a spiritualist. And I guess people, someone complained about the smell of marijuana, actually, in the apartment. Um, so the cops did knock on my door. Nothing happened, but it was just, it ended up coming true. So I was like, that was really, really weird. The second time um, was I had a dream about Tracy Brown, the psychic Tracy Brown, who I love, by the way. Shout out to the Tracy Brown crew. Um, I am I actually go on her show every Saturday, uh, The View from the Other Side. So, But I've told her about this dream. I always have dreams about me living in a mansion. Ooh, I wonder what that means, Shao. Maybe you're meant to live in a mansion. Child. I mean, if you keep seeing it, too, that's also something. But anyway. Okay, so the next premonition dream I have that I remember was Tracy Brown. So I had a dream. This was before, by the way, this was before Tracy Brown even invited me to be on her show. I've always been a fan of Tracy Brown. You guys know I always tell you this, you know, especially on YouTube and Instagram. Um, and Tracy Brown knows this, too. But, you know, I've, even before we started kind of working together and I started being on the Tracy show... I've always been a fan of Tracy Brown. She's always been one of the main psychics I've always watched. So I would say maybe like a month or two before she invited me on her show. And I never told her this until she invited me on her show. And we started getting to know each other better and started forming a friendship that I finally felt comfortable. You know, and I think it came out in conversation because we were talking about the protesters. And I was like, you know, Tracy, I had a dream about you not too long ago, actually. And this happened. So I had a dream and the... um. I had a dream about Tracy, and she was just going really all like hard and going off about Breonna Taylor. Um, I don't know exactly the timing of this, but it was I just remember that it was maybe a month or two before Tracy invited me actually to be on her show. Um, before we even like you know you know formed a relationship, a, you know a connection. And I never told her, but it ended up coming true because Tracy, you know, when the Breonna Taylor thing was a really big deal and it still is a big deal by the way like justice for Breonna Taylor but she was she I ever there were there's a lot of videos on her channel of her going off about Breonna Taylor and I, I told her that and she was like yeah that was a premonition you know um about the second time I actually had a premonition of me getting sick um and, and I got sick now this premonition of me getting sick was maybe I would say a month ago maybe a couple weeks ago I had a dream today, you all, though. I had a dream today, and I think it was another premonition. Now, how long it takes for this premonition to come true, I don't know. But there's a couple interesting circumstances with this premonition that I want to touch on when it comes to dreams. Okay. So, dreams technically are ruled by the 11th house in astrology, which is Neptune, which is why in the thumbnail you see the planet Neptune, which, if you didn't know... That's the planet Neptune. This planet rules the pl the zodiac sign Pisces. And the 11th house, Pisces and Neptune also rule the connection to spirit and spirituality. Now, if you've paid attention, a lot of the dreams that I've told you about that I remember, because I hardly ever remember my dreams, right? But these I remember for some reason. This last one I wrote, wrote down, actually. The, the previous ones I never wrote down. I just remembered them. They were that kind of potent. The 11th house in Neptune also rules the connection to spirit. Meaning, I would say when it comes to astrology, the houses or the zodiac signs that are most connected to spirit, for me, every astrologer is different, would be Pisces because the 11th house is spirit, one's connection to spirit. This is why Pisces struggle between sometimes being in the physical realm and in the spiritual realm or in whatever other realm they sometimes end up in, right? No shade to Pisces. I love you all. I'm a seventh house in Pisces, so. Which makes this last dream more, even more interesting. But I digress. The other zodiac sign for me that would be very connected to spirit would be Scorpio. 
the eighth house. This is because Scorpio, the eighth house, it rules death, which is, you know, the train, the final form of the physical body, you know, the transition into the spiritual realm. That eighth house death is also the connection to the ancestors. So for me, this means that spirit, because the 11th house, or I'm sorry, did I say the 11th house? Pisces rules the 12th house. I wish I could edit that out. I'm sorry, Pisces rules the 12th house. Neptune rules the 12th house, not the 11th house. The 11th house is actually ruled by Aquarius, which is Uranus, all right? Which is technology and friends, acquaintances, social groups. The 12th house. Let's focus on the 12th house, okay? I think, I believe that, and I've always said this, and, you know, if you believe this too in the comments, let me know. I believe that spirit speaks to us through our dreams. Right? Good information, exactly. I believe that spirit speaks to us through, speaks to us through our dreams. There's no, it's, there's no coincidence, there's no coincidence to me being able to predict the future in the physical realm, but now I'm predicting the future, the future while I'm sleeping. Something outside of me, something beyond me is working to my benefit. Something beyond me is helping me. Like, because when I read, when I predict the future, when I read the cards and when I'm channeling energy without the cards, that's spirit helping me. That's not me. Well, it is me, but... It's God, it's spirit, it's the ancestors, right? So why, when I'm sleeping, which, by the way, when you when we're sleeping, we, we are most connected to the ancestors. We are most connected to the spiritual realm, right? Because when we're sleeping, it's almost like a part of our brain shuts off where we're not thinking so much. And maybe, yeah, the subconscious does take over. The, by the way, the subconscious is the eighth house. Scorpio. I'm not crazy. There's a method to my madness. There's a method to my thinking. Right, Rebirth of Key? Thank you for being here, Rebirth of Key, because if you weren't here, I would be just be talking to myself. And I don't know how to see how many people are watching the video, but it doesn't matter. But you get where I'm going with this, right? So I think that our dreams can be really a place where like magic can take place a place where things can be predicted a place where yeah you can connect to your ancestors and your spirit guides you want to connect to your ancestors and your spirit guides connect to them through your dreams and there's different ways to do this now the way i'm doing it i'll tell you about in a second because it involves this beautiful necklace that i'm wearing um, which, by the way, I have a few more necklaces coming. I don't, I don't sleep with these on. I mean, these are all crystal bracelets too. This, these have jasper and agate on them, and hematite, and um, I, don't, I have to look up what the black one is on this one. I don't remember. This has rose quartz and clear, clear quartz on it. So I'm crystallized. I'm crystallized all up, right? But this one I sleep with. All right, this one I sleep with on. Now, when it comes to connecting to your spirit guides and your ancestors, hold on, you guys, it's like all tangled up. Hold on, is there someone else in the room? Hi, Lol, Lol, Lenny, hey, Lamar, I'm here. Oh, hey, Lenny. Is that Lenny with an I? Hey, hey, Christy. Yes, everybody's in the room. We're having a really good discussion, you guys, about dreams. So get your coffee, get your tea, I don't know, whatever. It's afternoon here. Get your, I don't know, whatever, all right? I'm drinking coffee because I need to still wake up. I'm still going to sleep here. And I'm actually just finally getting over the cold. Like, I feel like I can finally breathe again, breathe again. Okay, let's get back into the dreams. Okay, so... That's okay. So let's talk about how to connect to your ancestors through your dreams. I believe in the power of writing magic. What do I mean by that? I believe in the power. I mean, think about it. 
one of the main ways when it comes to candle manifestation, everyone is different. Like everyone, you know, does candles and magic differently. The way I was taught was you write your petition, meaning you write down what you want, what you want to, what you seek to achieve. And this is how I do my magic for myself, for my clients, for you all. I write down your petition. I write down my petition, what I want. I put my name on it. I put your, well, I put my name on mine. I put your name on yours, right? <laughs> and then, um... And then I write the petition, you know, and I believe it's the petition coupled with the candle that creates the magic for me. Everyone's different. So I also believe in the power of written word when it comes to healing a broken heart. Like, you know, like writing what you want and then burning the letter, right? Another way you can do this is you can write a letter to your ancestors and then maybe put it under your pillow or put it in your pillow. You know, maybe ask them some questions you want them to answer. Or maybe, I don't know, write a petition to them. And see what you get through your dreams. If not your dreams, your sleeping experience. Because sometimes it's not just a dream for everyone. Sometimes it's just the experience of sleeping. Like, I don't know, I had a good night's sleep and I haven't had a good night's sleep in years. That's something, right? Because what I found is that with dreams, you have to, like, build up to it, too. Like, I feel like there was a long period where I didn't, I feel like I didn't have dreams. Like, every now and then I would have a prominent dream, but it would be like, what what the hell was that about? Like, I don't, what was the, the point of that? You know? But I think understanding what dreams actually are or what dreams can be used for, understanding what dreams, you know, what the purpose of them are can help you to hone that energy it's literally to me i'm learning it's like honing reading tarot cards it's like honing reading um runes or it's like honing reading energy just in general like i believe that dreams can be used for magic dreams can be used for um be careful of course right but anyway so for me what i sleep with is i sleep with my moldavite necklace and Moldavite is a, and I've only been doing this recently, Moldavite is a tektite crystal that is of a very, very high, high frequency vibration. And it reacts differently with every, you know, everybody, basically. So, so you know, it, and I think it really depends on how spiritually evolved you are. The less spiritually evolved you are, the more Moldavite may, yeah, cause some havoc in your life. Because when I got it, I noticed some shifts happening, I, but I, it's more so positive to me. So I, But I think that's because I'm more spiritually evolved. But Moldavite is technically an extraterrestrial crystal as well. So Moldavite will connect you with angelic energy and extraterrestrial energy. Because I think there's something about Moldavite where it's made of earth, but it's also made of outer space material as well. I, I think it's something about maybe a comet hitting or something like that. I forgot the story. But this is what I sleep with. Now, when I get, I also did buy Libyan glass. Which is similar to Moldavite. I probably will be see, will be sleeping with that as well. Um, it's from Egypt, Libyan glass, and I do believe that I have a, a a past life in Egypt. So I'm hoping maybe that'll help my dreams when I sleep with it, right? Um, to maybe connect to that energy or just my past lives in general. I don't know. Anyway, and then I also I got a Herkimer diamond necklace too, but I probably won't be sleeping with that one. <laughs> Unless I take a nap in it or something like that. I don't know. I'm on my second cup of coffee. Is it bad to not really dream? I feel like I haven't had a dream in a while. I don't think it's bad. I think sometimes you just have to be ready for the dream. Like, I've noticed that, like, spirit will only let me remember a dream when I'm ready or when I just really, really need to pay attention to it. And I'm getting better at it, you know. So, this last dream I had, though, and I'm going to end this video, I think. Cause how long have I been on here? Excuse me. Oh, only 19 minutes. It feels like longer. Okay, so literally I had this dream today, meaning last night. And speaking of Tracy Brown, I was talking about the the dream in the book club because there's a book club that Tracy does and I'm, that I'm a part of. She also does a tarot class, but I'm not a part of the tarot class because I don't need it. I don't need it, you know. Um, she says I don't need it either. 
But um, she says I'm a tarot expert. But I told them about the dream and they were like, yeah, like basically you're like, you're like a, a dream psychic as well. Like the, I, it's a part of your powers, I think. So I'm a dream and I've been doing love work and it, it was about love, right? I've never had a dream like this, by the way. Usually when it comes to like stuff like that, for some reason my dreams are like sexual. It's really weird. Which it's like, okay, that's fun and exciting, but like is I don't always want a sexual dream for me personally. Like so this dream was really refreshing because it was just not about sex. It was love dating related, but it wasn't about sex. So I found it really refreshing. But I also found that to be somewhat important too. Anyway, I digress. So in my dream, like I told you all, I've been doing a lot of love work because I do, you know, I want to manifest love into my life. I want to manifest a boyfriend who eventually is going to turn into my husband. Period. You guys know that, right? So, um, I've had readings done on it and, you know, I've been told that, you know, soon I will be in a relationship and it feels like, you know, things are happening in a way where it does seem like I'm on track for that, right? I don't know who, when, where, but I feel it. So I had a dream last night or early this morning that I was on a date and for some reason I don't know, I like, I could kind of see the guy's face, but I don't remember what the guy looked like. I guess that doesn't matter. But I just remember that for the first time for me, and maybe I'm spilling some of my tea, whatever, like for the first time for me, the guy was like really into me. He took me out, you know, he was really into me. And there was something about his muscles. So I, I think he was like muscular because there's something about him like showing off his muscles and, and me, him getting me, and this is maybe where the sexual part comes in, right? Him wanting me to like touch it or see it or like kind of showing it off. And it's just like, oh, cool. Like, you know. But it was the setting. It wasn't in the bedroom. It was We were out. We were, like, on a date, basically. And I was like, hmm. And I woke up from that dream, and I was like, I think that was a premonition. And one thing I noticed with, with my dream premonitions is that they kind of usually happen to the T. Not always, but sometimes. So I wrote it down, and I was like, I'm going to remember that. Because I think that was a premonition. Because I'm also learning the difference between what I think is a premonition and what I think is just maybe a dream riddle I need to figure out. I was like, there's something about that where I think that was a premonition. So, that's kind of what, that, that dream is what made me want to come on this uh, Twitch live stream and talk about dreams. Pay attention to your dreams, seriously. And if you want to dream more, maybe, because one of you asked about dreaming more, maybe look into getting crystals. Now, not everyone is ready for Moldavite, Moldavite, okay? And you don't need a big piece of Moldavite for there to be a huge change. My dreams are always random AF. Well, maybe, you know, a crystal will help with that, will bring more clarity. Maybe, you know, everyone's different. Like, maybe the first crystal you might want to start with is, like, a clear quartz. Clear, clear quartz can bring clarity. And maybe you don't have to sleep with a necklace or a bracelet Sometimes people just put the crystal near their bedside or underneath their bed. Like I said, maybe you write a letter to your ancestors or your spirit guides. Maybe there's someone you want to come into your dreams, like an ancestor, someone you haven't heard from, someone you want to know that they're okay, right? Uh, and I'm learning when you do magic, when you pray, sometimes spirit, God, your ancestors, or whoever will answer you through your dreams. So what I think, actually, as well, was that the dream I had today was um, really a manifestation of the love magic I've been doing. But it was also a breakthrough and a message from my ancestors and spirit guides. So I'm listening, and I kind of can't wait to dream again, actually. So hopefully it's a good one. You know? That's my video about dreams, you guys. I mean, I don't know if you guys have any questions. Once again, if you want a reading, check out my website, lamartownsintero.com. If you want your dream interpreted, because some of you do come to me for, like, dream interpretations. You know, you ask me to, like, read the cards. What do you think? You know, can you break down the symbology? If you want a dream interpretation reading, you know, um, contact me for a reading. All right? Just ask, you know, what, what did this dream mean? A lot of you do come to me for that. 
Oh, your man is coming. Right? That's what I think. That's what I think. Chantel. I think he's coming. I think he's on the way. I actually think he's around the corner. I actually broke down a dream. And I was like, I think... No, wait. I think I read cards on it. I read cards on it. And I think... There's something where I was like, I think I'm actually not prepared yet. Or I think I need to, I need to get prepared. Because he's like around the corner. Because I'm not used to that type of treatment. Like the way I was getting in the dream. It was really good treatment. Like I felt, you know, like, oh, this guy really likes me. And he's taking me out. And he's paying for the date. And he's he seemed more invested in me, invested in me. Than I seemed in him, really, you know, like, and he was fine, like, he was fine, you know, and I was just kind of like, this is cool, like, you know, so, I like that vibe, all right, I dream so much that I wrote a book about my dreams, <laughs> oh, I would want to read that book, actually, Lenny, what is the book called that you wrote? I'm, like, getting big into this, you guys. I, like, I'm, like, predicting stuff in my dreams now. Seriously. So, uh, maybe I just need to have these, like, these, these new things where, like, I tell you about my dream. The newest dream I had. Because I'm telling you, these dreams, like, this stuff becoming true and I'd be shook. I'd be like, child. Oh, well, the uh, spirit did say that in my dream. And it be happening to a T. The Tracy Brown one really happened to a T. What, what, the the sick one happened to a T, but it was like I got it. It not really. And then the police one happened to a T as well, but they were the details were kind of a little bit off. So I'm interested to see how this one pans out. As he should exactly, Chantel. As he should, honey. Yes. So, that's my story, you guys. I think we should pay attention to our dreams. I think our dreams are important. Right, as he should. <laughs> yeah, I love that you guys are like, as he should. Yeah. Love that. So that's my dream. That's my dream story. Um, and yeah. It's unpublished, though, but they are always vivid. Oh, you need to publish it, Lenny. You know you can publish your own book. I did it. I did it. I wrote my own book, by the way, Zodiac Sign Sex Language, available on Amazon for download, hopefully soon for a physical copy. But you can publish, you know, your own work, you know. So I would like to read the book, so think about that. Anyway. You guys, this has been so fun. I always miss Twitch, but I'm back. Um, not because I didn't have content, but because I've just been so sick, y'all. And I got really busy. But there's more content coming for sure. We have a lot to talk about. I Especially as we get to 2021. You know, I mean, there's there's a lot going on, you guys. Um, but I want to talk with Twitch a bit more about magic. I, I think we're going to get more into that on Twitch. On the Twitch channel, Okay. This is going to be, I think, the channel for magic and stuff like that. You're amazing. You deserve nothing but top tier. Oh, thank you, Chantel. Back at you. Thank you. I love y'all. Yes, more about magic, please. Yeah, we're, I think this is going to be like the... There's a reason why it's called Twitch, right? Okay, I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Remember, if you want a personal reading from me, check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Pay attention to your dreams. Sleep with crystals if you need to, once again. All right? Um, maybe another thing you can do. I like diffusers because essential oils do also have a metaphysical property to them as well. Plants are also good, right? You are my best friend in my head. I love that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, you guys. I have to sign off because if I don't sign off, I'm just going to keep talking. Plants are good. Plants. Um, snake plants. Um, bamboo. What else? Uh, lilies. What are they called again? Oh, lily plants. But they're not lily plant. What are they called? Peace lilies. Peace lilies are good too. Um, I'm trying to think of the plants I have in here. 
roses are good. I have roses back there, as you can see. I mean, there's different ways to work the energy to your benefit, okay? Find your way, all right? And pay attention to your dreams, period. All right, love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.